My name is Adriana Papaleo. I am the U.S. Session Director for TG. I've been with TG for just over 10 years. Um, and I think really the, the essence of what I do is trying to tap into um, both the individual on a micro level and also our collective sort of cultural consciousness on a macro level. When you start thinking about things on big and small levels, there's, there's these connections that people sort of lose. Um, and I often talk about um, cultural identity and how cultural identity, when you boil it down, is really just a bunch of thoughts and feelings of individuals. So um, I love finding new, small, big, important, and trivial ways to tell those stories. When I first started cutting hair, I was working in a very edgy salon in Massachusetts. It was a college town, five universities, two women's universities. So everybody wanted to cut their hair off, go crazy. And I always just imagined that I'm, I cut, this is what I do, like I cut hair. Uh, and I actually refused to put hair up for a really long time. So it's strange to end up where I have now. The reason that I decided to choose TG was because it's a company that supports the individuals. The beautiful thing about our team is that there's really nobody that is like anybody else. And we say that about, we understand that about human beings and culture, but uh, it's really true. You know, my closest co-workers in a world outside of this, I would have maybe never even crossed paths with them, but they're actually like my brothers and sisters, my family. That individuality and that support system that TG brings, um, allowing you to bring yourself up uh, in however you see yourself grow. From where I started to where I've ended up so far with TG uh, is so vastly different than anything I could have imagined and all of that having happened inside of one company is pretty spectacular and special. Being inside of the Soho Academy, it's really being able to touch the individual and watching and creating environments where people can grow, have aha moments, light bulbs go off. To be able to have a hand, literally a hand and a pin um, in that idea is so important to me and such a beautiful thing that I could possibly ever dream of that it's sort of what, what drives me to work really long hours, to sacrifice things and because at, at the end of the day it, it provides an element of growth and completion that those sacrifices sort of fall away, birthdays fall away, so you missed a party but what you gained at the end of it is so um, beautiful and, and really I think fulfilling that that's what drives me to do it. As we started to do hair shows, TG got more involved in Fashion Week and because I was educating and they knew me, they invited me to come and it was more of like a waking up than it was a falling into something, which I feel like is the same way that hair happened for me as well. It's sort of like, here you are, you've been here the whole time, like why didn't you just open your eyes? Some stylists that I've met that have no experience with, they don't think it's important. As soon as you start to have the conversation, people realize just how attached they are to the fashion world. And the way that I talk about it is that Fashion Week is like this think tank, this source of inspiration. Uh, and we know that, okay, some of it's a little crazy, some of it's a little out there, but to be honest with you, the more you look at Fashion Week, the more classic it really is. But people think it's avant-garde, and so it becomes for the designers, for the hair, for the clothes, um, it's the this, this source of inspiration. But eventually that source of inspiration, because it happens six months ahead of time, becomes boiled down and sort of trickles out. And eventually over those six months, it, it becomes so user-friendly, things that you would never even second guess. But it takes those six months to trickle down from source of inspiration to inspiring, to inspiring others, to becoming what we see every day. But if you look, Everybody knows like, oh, hair being down is really popular right now, or longer layers, or these sorts of textures. And those textures and, and styles come directly from this source of inspiration. But for some reason, that six months allows people to forget that that's what happened, or, or maybe they weren't um, feeling like it was relevant. But it really does dictate that flow that we all have, that, that idea of the collective consciousness, how we all sort of ebb and, and roll through things together. So the importance of education goes right back to the, the importance of developing the self. We all change and we grow and um, we don't feel fulfilled as people when we remain static. Uh, and if we feel like hair is our work and our craft, then we also have to develop that to continue to grow as people. Even if you did hair, let's say five minutes, right? Over the span of five minutes, we don't want to be the same person because we have all kinds of thoughts and feelings. So 
over five decades, we hope, right? To think of how many different types of people that you have been over those last period of years. Um, education allows you to continuously reinvest to find what challenges you, what scares you. Uh, there's nothing worse than fearing what we do every single day. That reinvestment allows you to, um, as I said, become like that, that inner artist that you know that you are, but there are certain elements of fear that hold you back. It's been a really big journey for me to figure out what kind of educator, what kind of stylist, um, where I'm honoring what's true to me. Because sometimes I want to be funny and like light and whatever, but I'm just more like, so how do you feel about that? <laughs>